Sunday and welcome back to my channel. I know this is a little weird. I am currently in China and I didn't have time to film this hair review before I left so I'm gonna do it now before I take it off. This is gonna be a really really quick hair review on this unit that I got off of Amazon. Yes, Amazon. I knew I was going to China and I wanted to try something different, something new. I'm getting old. I mean like I'm not old yet but I'm getting there. My YOLO time frame is like, you know, it's ticking. So I was like, let's do blonde. I don't know why I did it in China though, cause like, it's already weird enough being black over here, but black with blonde hair. So let's just get into the details. So it was about 50 bucks. It's a full synthetic wig. It did say that you can like apply heat to this, like a flat iron or a curling iron. The temperature has to be kind of low. Um, it is really long. Whoa. And I actually cut it. I only I cut this part because the ends were really choppy looking and I kind of wanted it to layer and it still looks choppy, but it was even more choppy. This is like really long. Ooh. I'm five foot three. It's to my hip. And it is straight. As I said, it's a synthetic wig. If you want curly, get a curly one. If you want straight, get a straight one. I wanted a curly one, but I couldn't find one. The two good points that I will say, the first one. Dang, did I break a nail? This thing has, y'all, this wig has six inches of parting space. Six inches. Holy cow. Yes, here all the way back. And I was just lazy. Like, I didn't even finish plucking. I could have went farther, but I didn't. It has a lot of parting space. That is amazing for a any wig. Sorry, I take that back. There's three good points. The parting and the fact that when I part it somewhere and like flip it over, it'll stay. If this was any other wig, like a human hair wig, I'd have to blow dry it and like wet it and like, I don't know, mess with it to get it to stay. But no matter where I part this thing, it's like fine. So yeah, I don't like that. Dang it. The third good point is the color. Oh my god, this color is amazing. The knots are bleached. The hairline did come plucked. Um, you need to pluck it a lot more, but it's, at least they tried, you know? Let me just jump into the bad stuff so we can just get this over with. This thing tangles like nobody's business. And no, I'm not saying it tangles, like, and I don't know, synthetic wigs. I've had plenty of synthetic wigs. You know how after you wear a synthetic wig for like, I don't know, a week, the ends just go, like they're done. They become poofy and like tangled in a knotted mess that you just can't fix. It's just no, no recovery. That's what this wig is doing. Mind you, I've worn this only today. It has been one day and it's already acting crazy. The ends are basically fried. Um, I'm brushing it now, but like, you can hear that. The ends are just a knotted mess, like a completely knotted mess. And I can't move the hair. So if I pull it back like that, and then I pull it back to the front, the ends are in a knot. Just that simple movement and this is all tangled up. It was 50 bucks and for me that's really pricey for a synthetic wig to be $50 and you didn't last one day. So that's definitely a really bad point and it sheds a lot. And it doesn't shed a lot because it actually sheds. It sheds a lot because it's tangling so much, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I guess the only bad point is that it's already tangling, the ends are fried, and it's shitting all over the place because it's tangling and I can't get the knots out. To be fair, 
I haven't tried putting anything in it. I didn't put any oil or anything in there. And I haven't tried flat ironing the ends. I feel like a good run through with the flat iron might bring this back to life or might have this act right. Like this is just like fresh out the box. I didn't put anything in it. So that could be why. I went in with some of this got to be glued and like tried to do the hairline somewhat. I did a lot of plucking and I did cut some baby hairs because the baby hairs look like bangs, straight bangs. Oh my God. I haven't even moved and it's tangled. Ooh, ugh. It's, it's, it's fun, but no, it's not fun. It's cute though. So yes, I hope you thought that was helpful if you were looking at this wig because I was looking at so many YouTube videos before I bought it and it was really helpful. Um, if you want any information, the links will be down below. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.